What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to add mods to your Atenor's Minecraft server, enhancing your gameplay with unlimited money, unique modifications, and the favorite games you've always wanted to mod. First off, you'll need to log in to your Atenor's account. Navigate to your service page by clicking on Servers. Select the server you wish to install mods on. Click on it to proceed. Ideally, your server should be offline during this process to ensure a smooth mod installation. Next, on the left side menu, click on Software. We're focusing on the Java edition of Minecraft for this tutorial. Scroll down to the Java section and look for Forge. Clicking on Forge allows you to select the Minecraft version you're running. It's crucial to match the Forge version with the specific mod you want and ensure compatibility with your Minecraft client. Click on Install and you'll be prompted about losing your current world. It's a necessary step for mod installation, but remember, you can download your world if you want to keep it. Confirm the installation, and once complete, you'll see a new mods option appear on the left hand side. Click on Mods to explore a vast library of modifications available. You can search for any mod you desire using the search bar. Select it, choose the compatible version, and hit the download button. The mod will then be added to your server. However, to join your now modded server, you must also install the mod to your Minecraft client. This means downloading the same version of the mod to your computer. Aternos provides a Curse Forge link for most mods, which is a reputable source for Minecraft modifications. Follow the link, download the correct version of the mod, and save it to an easily accessible location like your desktop. Now, for the mods to work on your client, you need Forge installed there as well. If you haven't already, Download Forge for the corresponding version of Minecraft you're playing on. Run the installer and ensure the Forge client profile is selected in your Minecraft launcher. However, before proceeding with the Forge installation, it's essential to check if you have Java installed on your computer, as Forge requires Java to run. If you're unsure or don't know if you have Java installed, here's what you need to do. Open up your web browser and navigate to the official Java website at java.com. Click on the Download Java button. This will take you to a page where you can download the latest version of Java for your operating system. Follow the prompts to download and install Java. The website should automatically detect your OS and offer the correct version for download. Once the download is complete, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions to install Java on your computer. With Java successfully installed, you can now proceed with the Forge installer you've previously downloaded. Double-click the installer file and it should open using Java presenting you with the installation options for Forge. Select Install Client and proceed with the installation. With that done, drag and drop the downloaded mod file into the mods folder in your .minecraft directory, accessible by typing percentage %appdata% percentage in your Start menu and pressing Enter. If you've followed these steps correctly, start your Minecraft client, select the Forge profile, and you should see the mod installed under the Mods menu in Minecraft. Finally, start your Atona server and join using your Minecraft client. If everything is set up correctly, you'll be able to enjoy the new modded experience without any hitches. Remember, anyone wishing to join your server will also need to install Forge and the mods you've added to their Minecraft client. And that wraps up how you can add mods to your Atona server and ensure they work seamlessly on your client. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.